right uh, so in this video we are going to be dealing with inventory uh, with serial numbers in order so to do that uh, we go to settings make sure that the development mode is activated so we go to settings to activate the developer mode if it's not activated so in my case it's activated you can see that it's activated by seeing that icon there so let me go to inventory now so i can click on inventory there make sure that the loads are ticked this one is ticked this one is ticked if all those are ticked uh, you now need to click on save after that i can go to home so you can click that icon to go to home and then i click on inventory here so we want to be adding our quantities and also putting serial numbers to those items at the same time okay. it's taking a little bit of time to load okay uh, let me click, uh, click again on inventory so here we are under inventory you can see there are many shops and warehouses that are showing here uh, so we don't want to be working in many shops or warehouses so we only want to be working under one shop or one warehouse so to do that we first need to make sure that we know the names of our warehouses so in my case let me start working with uh, shop let me start working with shop one so I don't want to be ticking all these ones you should only be ticking one that you want to work with so I'm going to tick there and untick on all these ones let's just wait for it to load so I need to untick these ones so we need to untick them first first so the moment I untick it it means I won't be able to deal with that shop let me untick that one again so we are left with one tick here so let it load again right so it have now finished the loading so you can now see there are just a few shops here or a few warehouses also to verify your name of your warehouse you can just click on configuration and warehouse is here so here i can double click on that warehouse edit so here our warehouse name is shop one let me just edit it to shop one let me leave it as shop one here so that is easy to identify again i go down on shop name there i also put shop one uh, and then i can click on save so that's how you do to rename your shop your warehouses right uh let it load so now i want to go to products and then i click on products So here is the list of my products here. So I want to view them in a list view. So you click here where is the list view. It will give you more a good view. So let me start with the let me start with AA1. So you can see there is no selling price, there is no cost price. So let me start with AA1. So I double click on that item named AA1. And then here you click on edit click on edit and then after clicking on edit we go to selling price so let's say our a1 is going for three dollars and then we put our cost our cost is two dollars and then we put the company where this price is going to appear for so it's going to appear for shop five after that you go on pos you tick where it's written available in pos and then you click drop down arrow here we are going to put all these items under main one after that you go to inventory and then here you need to tick where it's written check by unique serial number so the moment i do this it means i'm going to be checking this item by serial number after that you can click on save to save this item due to service
Okay, okay, just a second. Okay, I'm working in shop one. So I should have selected a shop one here. So drop down arrow. So this price is going to be for shop one. So I can click on save there. Okay? Right? After that, we now want to move to quantity. So to go to quantity, I can click on quantity on the end there. And then I click on create. Then I go on location. I select location. We are going to select this one written shop one store. So I click there. Serial number. I scan my my barcodes. And then it looks like this but this serial number is not in the system. So you just need to click on create now. And then you click on save. And then click on create again to enter the next item. Uh, you click again shop one. Uh, we scan the serial number so if it's not in the i system i click it and then i click on save so after i finished it uh, i can go back to products so i can just click here here i will go back to this item so you can now see there's two point two units for this item so that's it for adding our items uh, in the system so in this case we have added quantity we have added price and we have said that this price only applies to this shop or to this company. Uh, we have also come here in inventory and ticked where it's written check serial numbers so that we are able to check serial number for this item. So that's it for doing serial numbers. If you also want to put pictures, you can put pictures from here. Uh, you can click there and then here you can select the the picture let me just select that one so let's say that the picture of my product so that's it to go back i can just click here under products you click products you go back here you can now see the product is now written price three dollars and the cost and the quantity on the end so to go to the next item just click on double triple a is the next item i click on edit then you go to selling price, you enter a selling price, you enter a cost, then you go to POS, you tick available in pause, and then here we are going to put them all under menu one. The reason being is because we are not going to be using these menus in the pause. We will be searching the items because our items are too many. So we will not be checking them. Also, if we want to be grouping our items, we can also go under general there. So currently all the items are falling under one group which is written Samsung. So if you want to put another group, maybe we can say accessories there. Let us add another group called accessories. Accessories. So it's a stock group. So I just click on create. It will be automatically be created. Uh, so each time when you are putting, you need to make sure that you select the group. So here we have got ITO, accessories, and Samsung. If you want to add a new group, you can just select from here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you can continue. That's it.